Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a Lego haul. Today we're going to be getting a bunch of uh, packages and different things over the next few days for May the 1st stuff and I thought let's film it like we usually do, put it together in a video so that I could be like, hey, these are the reviews that you guys need to keep an eye out for and some reaction for some stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead, let's open this up and you can already see what it says there on the side of the box. Yes, okay, here we go. This is series 26, and I'm so happy that they listened to our feedback the last time because uh, with this, and I'm gonna remove that sticker as fast as possible here so it doesn't damage it. Um, I'm so happy. Oh no, please don't damage this one. Why they got put on the front? No, I tried so hard to have it not peel and ruin the box because I love collecting all the boxes I'm sent. They put it right on the front, but that's okay. Um, I'm really excited because I got two of these. Why am I excited that I got two? First of all, love the idea of these sleeves. I think it's excellent. Uh, these uh, sleeves have all 12 of them inside. So you got really cool. Orion there on the side, space symbol there, and then some more like space background and the other astronaut. But yeah, so these sleeves have 12 figures and basically it's like a little soda dispenser sort of thing where you remove one of the figures from the top and then it drops it on down. So I, I love this. I love the idea that they're like, all right, because there's been problems in the past where sometimes our box distribution, we wouldn't get a full series when we were sent it by Lego. But here we're getting 12. It should have all 12. But the issue with that was when I did like the weight guide for this, which we're going to do. I had nothing to compare it to. Also, there's codes on the bottom, which now actually supposedly mean something as well. So now I'm actually going to be able to test out the weight guide. I'm going to be able to test out the scanning code on the bottom to see if it matches up with this extra sleeve. So that's going to help me so, so much. I'm glad that they listened to the feedback for that. All right, this next box, I, I was really looking forward to it, but now I I'm not as much as I originally was when uh, we heard about the rumor and I accepted the offer, but you'll see here what I mean in a second. What is inside this box? We have here, there we go. This is the inside out two Lego set which originally I was really looking forward to. I'm like, yes, we're getting inside out sets. And, and then it's, it's mini dolls, but uh, yeah, we'll save this. My thoughts more for the review, but uh, yeah, in concept, I like the idea of this little emotion cubes and these cool mosaics, but uh, yeah. So this is quite a unique box. I feel like I'm not really sent stuff in boxes this shape but this is just them reusing something that another set has come in from from lego which is fine i think this is honestly cooler than the boring cardboard ones but yeah anyways let's see what's inside of here we have wow it's going all the way down to the bottom this is a massive massive set <laughs> of course we've got the Minions and Gru's Family Mansion. And I'm so excited to take a look at the interior here. I'm assuming it's on the back of the box. And I love the box art here. Like, that's so cool that it's like the exact same that they had for uh, the April Fool's Day present. And I love the family there on the side. But uh, yeah, I, I can't help but hold a bit of a grudge against the Mega Minions, which is their names there. Mega Minion Tim, Mega Minion Mel, Mega Minion Jerry. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's flip this around and react to the inside. Oh my goodness. So we got like the lab. Oh, it transforms. That's really cool. Look at that. So it like spins around so you could have like a, a bathroom and then also it can transform into uh, the lab. And up there, oh, look at the little family portrait. That's really cute. And uh, oh, that's like the kitchen area. And over here, yeah, we were able to see a little bit of this, but that's, uh, that's one of the little beds. I wish all three were here, but that's really awesome. And uh, <laughs> his, his chair there with the axes in the back is awesome. And uh, the little, little area there, 
which, uh, of course, we were able to see before. But, okay. Um, yeah, a lot more detail than I thought. Like, the fact that each section sort of doubles as two parts, at least down below, that's kind of cool. All right, next up here we have... Ooh, this is the Minions and Banana Car. We saw part of this, and then we were told that four of the Minions were coming. So, or two other ones to make it four, sorry. So, that's really cool. There's Tim... In his AVL, the Anti-Villain League outfit. That's awesome. And uh, who's Dave? Mega Minion Dave. He's painting a little banana. I love that car, though. That's so cool. And uh, Ron in that outfit looks pretty neat. All right, let's see here. This is the one that I we have yet to see as well. And this is the Minions Music Party Bus. That looks cool. It looks like just a regular city bus there. What does that say? Party on wheels. And you got a bunch of minions. Look at them all there. That's cool. All sort of some generic minions. So I know that some people were really excited for that. And uh, that's awesome. There. And also got the G on there. So that's cool that they are specifically grew ones. This guy's so cool with that cone-shaped head. He's got like a cape too. Mega Minion Gus. That's a lot of fun. Wow, look at all those... Uh, Let's see if there's something better on the back to, to showcase that. But those stickers look so cool. Like all those other minions just jamming out and different things. Yeah, well, that's a fun set for sure. There's some sort of QR code. Scan here. Okay, I'll try that, but I, I doubt that it'll work. But I don't. is this a first to have a Lego QR code in a, in a Lego set? I don't know. It took me to sign up for Insiders. It's probably not up yet, but that's cool. And last up here we have, this is the Brick Built Gru and Minion set with Scary Cursed Gru as people have been called. Um, did they? Huh. They kept one of them a secret when we got the reveal. There is Tim. And I love that build for the tie. That's so cool. I can't believe that they did that. And that's really cool. So all four of them will spin around him. But wow. Okay. All right. So here is everything that I was sent releasing on May the 1st. I'm actually was in the process of filming this video and I realized, oh shoot, I have to do the full haul video before I go any further. So I've already opened 12 of the sleeves. So you have to stay tuned for that. That video is going to be dropping very soon. You're about to be bombarded with reviews for Despicable Me and all of that. Uh, which, by the way, I'm filming this today. It's shadow dropped. It all of a sudden came out in Europe. These four sets in stores and online. So not sure what's going on with that. But it is May 1st here for North America. And same with the Inside Out set and the rest of the minifigures. That have been popping up for the last few weeks now. So anyways... Stay tuned for videos on all of this stuff, and we're very close to June reveal, so it's very, very exciting time here, and it's going to be very busy, so don't miss out. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos, or at least the first three, because that's all that it notifies you for. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.